With testing coming up, we need to make sure that your iPad is ready to go. So the first thing we need to check is to make sure you have the DRC Insight app. Now, depending on how you set up the apps on your iPad, you may or may not choose to have all apps installed on your device. So for example, if I swipe all the way to the left, I get to something called the app library. The app library is every single app that's installed on my computer, but I may not have every single app installed onto my screen. So if I scroll through all my screens here, I don't have DRC Insight. But in order to verify that it is installed on my device, I can go over to the app library and search for DRC. And here it is right here. So even though it doesn't show up on my screen, I may still have it installed on my device. Now, if I press and hold down the icon, I can tell it to add to home screen. And then this will add it to my list of apps to make sure it's easier to find. Now, before I open that app, there's one more setting I need to make sure I've changed. And this is in my settings app. So if I open up the settings app, on the left hand side here, there's a whole bunch of different settings to choose from. And if I scroll all the way down to the very last section, this is the section that lists all of the different apps that you have on your device. You're gonna see one that's called DRC Insight. Now there's an option in here that says allow cross website tracking. This must be turned on for this app to work. So I need to click or tap to turn that on. Now, to verify that it's on, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the home button to get back out of it, and go into settings again, and just verify that it stays on. Sometimes it's a little flaky, and I have to go in and out two or three times to make sure I actually get it to turn on. Once that's turned on, and I have my app visible on my home screen, now I'm ready to start taking the test. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the DRC Insight app. Once it opens, it asks me to choose my testing program and we want Missouri. So when the app opens, you're gonna see three different headings here. The links to actually open them are down below here. So when we go to take the test, this test sign in button is what we're gonna to use to actually get into that test. But since we're not testing today, we're gonna go ahead and do what's called the online tools training. For the online tools training, it gives you a variety of different subjects to choose from. We're gonna start off by doing English language arts and simply choose sixth, seventh, or eighth grade. And then do the online tools training. Here it asks you to log in. Right above, it'll tell you what the username and password is. This is slightly different depending on which test you chose. It is case sensitive, which means you need to make sure that it matches uppercase or lowercase. And then click continue. This is gonna tell you that this app is going to do a self lock. You must click yes in this step, otherwise it's just gonna kick you out of the test and make you go back into it again. So in this case, I want to hit yes. And now I'm ready to hit continue to get into my test. So I hit continue, here is my test. I can click on that test to take it. And once you open it, it's gonna have you go through step by step, showing you the different testing tools and the different testing icons and what each of these means. After you've gone through and read the tools, you're gonna to go ahead and hit begin the test. And now this is gonna be a practice test. This does not count for a grade. This is just showing you what the test is gonna look like and it gives you an opportunity to play around with these different tools. So I can use the tools that it mentioned in the training, things like the cross off tool, which allows me to cross off answers that I know are incorrect. Things like the highlighter tool, where I can tell it to use my highlighter and click and drag to highlight parts of my section. I have a sticky note area to be able to add sticky notes that I could simply type in notes for the something to remind me to come back later. I can flag questions if I need to, to come back to them later. And to give my answers, I wanna make sure I'm on the pointer. 
I choose my answer and then go to the next question and so on and so on. Once I finish the practice test, I can go ahead and click end. This will show me any questions I may have flagged to make sure I've gone back and answered all of them and then go ahead and tell it to end that test. Again, it asks me if I'm finished with my test. If I'm complete and I've finished all the answers, I wanna make sure I hit submit to submit that, and then exit, which will take me out of that locked down browser, and now I can hit the home button to go back to the rest of my apps.